Welcome back to Medicam YouTube, we're thrilled to have you here with us today. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for instant updates, your support helps us bring you more fascinating content. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat jaw-dropping topic, extreme viral warts. This is a subject that has intrigued many and left others in sheer disbelief. These warts like the ones seen on Body Bazaar are caused by the human papillomavirus or HPV. HPV is a common virus with over 100 different strains, some of which can lead to these extreme skin conditions. In rare and extreme cases such as Abel Bajandar's Treeman syndrome, warts grow uncontrollably into large bark-like formations. This condition is not just a medical anomaly, but a life-altering challenge. This condition, known as epidermodysplasia verruciformis, can be incredibly debilitating. It affects the skin's ability to protect itself, leading to these massive wart formations. Imagine having warts that cover your hands and feet, causing severe pain, infections, and limiting your movement. The physical and emotional toll can be overwhelming. Daily tasks become excruciatingly difficult, often leading to social isolation and physical disability. The stigma and misunderstanding surrounding this condition can further isolate those affected. So, what causes these extreme viral warts? Let's delve deeper into the root causes. The root lies in a rare genetic condition, making individuals highly susceptible to certain strains of HPV. This genetic predisposition is what sets the stage for these extreme cases. The body's immune system struggles to control the virus causing uncontrollable wart growth. The immune system's inability to fight off the virus effectively leads to these severe manifestations. These warts can spread extensively across the skin resembling tree bark. This resemblance is not just superficial, the texture and hardness can be quite similar. Other factors like a weakened immune system can make the condition worse. A compromised immune system can exacerbate the growth and spread of these warts. Now let's talk treatment. Addressing this condition is complex and requires a multifaceted approach. It's challenging and often requires multiple approaches. Medical professionals must tailor treatments to each individual's needs. Surgical removal of warts can provide temporary relief, but they tend to regrow due to the underlying genetic and viral factors. Surgery is often just one part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Here are some common treatments. Each has its own benefits and limitations. Cryotherapy, which involves freezing the warts off. This method can be effective for smaller warts, but may not be suitable for extensive growths. Laser therapy to remove lesions. Laser treatment can target and destroy wart tissue with precision. Topical treatments with salicylic acid or retinoids. These treatments can help to gradually reduce wart size and prevent new growths. Immunotherapy to boost the body's immune response against HPV. Strengthening the immune system can help control the virus more effectively. Long-term management usually requires ongoing care, as there is no permanent cure for the underlying condition. Regular follow-ups and adjustments to treatment plans are essential. I hope you found this information helpful and intriguing. Understanding these conditions can foster empathy and support for those affected. For further details and reading material, check the description section below. We've included links to studies and articles for those who want to learn more. Please leave a thoughtful comment, I'd love to hear your insights. Your feedback helps us improve and cover topics that matter to you. Thank you for watching Medicam YouTube. Your engagement and curiosity drive us to explore and share these incredible stories. Until next time, stay curious and stay healthy. Remember, knowledge is power, and together, we can make a difference.